Good evening, families. <clears throat> Today is Good Friday. It's the next step in Holy Week. Yesterday was Monday, Thursday, which is when we honor and celebrate the Last Supper of Christ. And after that supper, Jesus was, well, he was betrayed by one of his best friends, one of his closest disciples. That's just a fancy way of saying his friend hurt him. He turned him in so that Jesus would be arrested. And today, today is the hardest day of our faith. Good Friday comes with goodness because of Christ laid his life down for us. He gave his life. we can know him so that our sin would be forgiven so that we would be made whole in him but it's still a sad day so I wanted to read you the story we're going to use the spark house story bible today <clears throat> and um, if you have markers or pencils or some paper, this would be a good time to pull out your art and maybe draw what you're feeling when you hear this story. I mean, maybe at the end, color. <clears throat> I'm going to encourage you guys to color. What's the color of sadness for you? So let's read the story and take some time to do some art. Take some time to feel this story with your art. The day Jesus died. <clears throat> it was a very sad day when Jesus died. The soldiers who arrested him teased him for pretending to be a king. They took his clothes and put on a, a purple king's cloak on him. They made a crown of vines with sharp thorns and put it on Jesus' head. Ouch. The soldiers made Jesus carry a heavy wooden cross. The cross was too heavy for him. Jesus fell and skinned his knees when he tumbled to the ground. A man carry, in the crowd carried the cross the rest of the way. The soldiers nailed Jesus' hands and feet to the cross. They raised Jesus to the cross up on the hill between two other men. The other men were thieves, and they were being crucified too. One of the men was angry with Jesus. If you are a powerful king, can't you save yourself and us too? The man said to Jesus. But the other thief believed. He shouted back, don't you know who this is? This is God's son. He hasn't done anything wrong. We are being punished for our mistakes, but Jesus shouldn't be here. The man turned to Jesus and asked, will you take me to heaven with you? Jesus looked at the man and loved him. Jesus told him, yes, today we will be in heaven together. Even on the cross, Christ is loving and forgiving. I love this cover here. After a while, the world grew very dark as if a terrible thunderstorm was coming. It was as if all of creation was crying because Jesus was about to die. Whole earth was sad. Jesus was feeling all alone and prayed to see if God was still there. Of course God never left Jesus. God was with him the whole time. Jesus looked at the crowd. He was so sad that the people didn't believe that he was God's son. He asked God to forgive them. Forgive them for killing him. The soldiers offered some sour wine but he didn't want to drink it. He was ready to die. Finally, Jesus had fought for long enough. He said, God, the work you gave me to do is finished. He breathed the final long soul breath and then died. And that's how today ends. And we know through 
there's more to the story. But today, find a color, find something to draw out that sadness about Christ's death. It's, it's good to feel <clears throat> that and understand the sadness the disciples felt is something we feel too. So I will continue reading stories to you as Holy Week continues tomorrow with Holy Saturday. Um, with this, I have attached a craft for families if you guys want to do a Good Friday craft together. You guys can also just sit and talk about this story. It's a good chance to talk about the hardness of this, of Christ's death, but the, the love that was still there, the forgiveness Christ offers. Okay. Sending you hugs and prayers and love from afar. May the peace of Christ fill you.